Hi hey guys, it's Talon here. Thought I'd try something a bit different today rather than just the usual silent achievement guides. There's an achievement that um, I know a lot of people ask for advice about, especially newer players, which is Operation Sea Line. So, I thought I'd do a little bit of a video on that. And also, because you haven't seen me play before, I've, I've got a lot of hours in this game. It'll give you an opportunity to see me play as well. So, Germany. First thing we're going to do is group everybody together. I will add, this isn't the definitive way of doing this. This is just a way you can. So, or my way of doing it, let's put it that way. So, we've got 30 guys. So, we're going to change them all into infantry, which is controversial because a lot of people say, oh, Germans have the best tanks. Yeah, they do, but I'll be honest with you. If we look at the tank division, it means me building a lot of tanks, a lot of motorised, and I need those factories. So this just frees up a lot of factories. So, we will now get rid of our tank factories, get rid of our motorised factories. We'll also get rid of half of our infantry equipment factories, and we'll knock that down to one on support equipment. We don't really need any of that at all. Um, what we are going to do is leave these two on close air support and tactical bombers, not to be bothered about that, but absolutely, oh no, we need one more thing, which is we are going to need to build a few transport planes. Uh, so we'll bring that up there, we'll give three, tra three factories transport planes, absolutely every other factory now is going to be on fighters. So, we need to make a lot of fighters. Research-wise, we'll grab some extra guns, we'll come down here, because one thing we are definitely need is paratroopers. We will also shuffle across here, grab that, uh, what should we do? Let's do some artillery as well. Okay, now, focus-wise, the only one we actually need for this whole, whole achievement is Rhineland. Other than that, I'll be grabbing a few other random ones as time goes on. You'll notice it says outdated equipment in production, that's simply because of these boats down here. Now. What I'm going to do just, just to solve that is we'll give this guy at the bottom on, on a load of uh, naval dockyards. We'll also get some submarines if we can find them. Mark 2 in production 2. They're great at the moment, but they'll solve themselves as time goes on. Uh, construction. What are we going to need? We don't really need a huge amount, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. So what I'm actually going to do, which is unusual for me is I'm just going to go for airbase and the reason is that I want to be as close as possible to the border as we can get so it's that one there right so construction airbase in the Rhineland right so we'll get a load of airbases going once they're done we'll get a few other military factories and stuff so that's all good so yeah we're sorted uh, in fact, because we're building fighters, we all need some rubber, which we'll grab from... If you saw <laughs> nearly made that rookie mistake. If you saw my uh, last video about the convoys, yeah, we've got enough convoys. But we'll grab it from British Malaya, because that actually doesn't cost us any convoys. Dutch East Indies cost us ten, which makes no sense to me at all. But, boom. Right, here we go. Now, in terms of these troops down here, we will stick six of them in a different... Oh, six of them in a different division different army, so to speak, right. We'll give them all a field marshal. I'm not particularly bothered who. Von Rundstadt, you can have Rommel, you can have Manstein. And I think that's it for now. So yeah, so I've been been really happy about the support that the, uh, the achievement guys have got. There are a few others that I've been working on loosely when I've had time. Hearts of Iron's one of these games that, I, I'll be honest, I, I sort of play it a lot and then I go off of it and then I come back to it. It's not one that I'm absolutely hooked on to. I used to be until they brought out too many weird DLCs. I used to love the game the way it was and it's this latest one. You'll see I've got it installed here with the whole intelligence agency and the resistance. I just don't like it at all. I really, really don't like it. I, I leave it installed because I quite like the Portuguese focus tree, but uh, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I, I I loved this game when it was simple, and now with all these DLCs, it's just got, it's just got too complicated. But I'll try to, if if this video is popular, then I'll try doing a few more of these for different um, different nations, showing you how to start them off. Right, we are 
going to organise our planes. Now we have got one, two, three, four, five lots of bombers. Six lots of bombers, I always forget that one down there. Which we will shove across onto... Where should we put them? We'll put them on the top one up here. And we'll group them all together. 480, not bad. Uh, we'll actually raise the limit to 500, because we're going to end up with a few spares. And they will be on close air support of the UK. Southern UK, that's fine. We are going to group our fighters together. One, two, three, and four. Rhineland's done. Perfect. I'm just going to pause it really quickly. Fighters are going to bring down here. Did that work? Maybe. Let's try that again. Right, one, two, <laughs> three, four. I'm going to bring down a here. Perfect. Yeah, good. Ethiopia's gone. Group them together. And we are going to do something a little bit weird here. Because we're, we're going to end up with a lot of fighters. I'm going to halve them. We could do this in one of a few ways. Going to halve that one again and halve that one again. So we end up with four loads of fighters. And each of them I'm going to give a 500 limit to because we are going to end up with a lot. Are we? No, we won't end up with that many. Hmm. That's fine. Sorry, okay. Uh, so I'm just trying to rack my brains now. Right. We're going to give them a two. No, sorry, yeah, we'll have two. We'll give a 500 limit to two of them. Right, so you and you can have a 500 limit. Did this a weird way, right. You can actually be disbanded. Those planes will just get shunted on to one of the other ones and you can be disbanded. Okay, yeah, messed up there slightly. But if you watch this... Yeah, boom. Right, those planes got reassigned anyway. So, okay, that's two loads of fighters. They're down here. One of those is going to be going over air superiority Benelux, one of them air superiority over the channel. So that gives us a load of planes now, or potential planes, over Benelux Channel Southern England, which is exactly what we want. Who else do we have? We have close air support. Now, do we care about this limit here? So this one can do 1800 planes, which is fine. Right, so you can come across there, you can do close air support, where can you reach? Well, you have, you have the channel as well. And there should be one more, which is the naval bombers. Over there, over channel 2, on that. Ah, okay, right, where... Oh yeah, I have to give them an order, that's absolutely fine. So if we have a look down here now, yep, all the orders, all off their relevant places. You are going to raise your limit to 8. It might end up being slightly higher than that, we'll probably end up making about 10 or 12, but that's not a problem. Right, Rhineland's done, which means that you can now have a front line against there. And this is the first part of the, the strategy. So we're going to declare a justifier war goal against the Netherlands. That's only raised the, war, the world tension to 11, so we're going to justify it against Britain. That's going to raise that even higher. If we come back to the Holland now and just unpause it briefly, you will see, boom... The UK is guaranteed the Netherlands. So now we will cancel justification on the UK, because we do not want France to guarantee them as well. And what we are going to be doing is giving them an attack order coming around here. Like that. Go. Perfect. When's that due to finish? That is due to finish 1st of December. Lovely. Now, I mean, potentially we could have done it earlier. The reason I leave it slightly later, just November, December is perfect for me, is because it just gives us a chance to build a few more planes in the meantime. So, let's go back up, have a look at how our plane production is doing. Yep, we're doing pretty good. Right, just notice we are building close air support, so we want to raise his limit up as well. So, we won't make that many of them. Let's give him 150. That's good. Now this is the thing, as soon as war kicks off, literally a second it kicks off, we want to have as many planes in the air as possible. Right, now, none of the focuses matter. It's being perfectly honest with you. So I'm just going to pick random ones. Now this amount of troops is absolutely fine for the UK. 
Basque. We could do with some more once we, uh, or if we decide to do France afterwards, or if we're carrying on for the UK, I'll be honest with you. 30 troops is absolutely fine. So, let's just see how the paratrooper research is doing. 47 days left. That's going good. Now. Do a bit more research. It's not really a huge amount we need, to be honest with you. Right, yeah, concentrate industry, construction, and let's pick up electrical engineering as well. So, following so far, we have got Rhineland done. We have got 30 troops lined up on the border of Holland. Holland is now guaranteed by the UK. And we have got planes scattered around English Channel, Southern England, a few of the Benelux. And I'll be honest with you, I can do this achievement usually one in three times, occasionally one in two. The reason I say that is because it's very, very hit and miss on the air superiority. Very hit and miss. This is the second time I've recorded this video, and the last time I just could not for the life of me get air superiority. I had it split second as soon as the video, was, as soon as I started um, the war, managed to grab Dover and Portsmouth, and then suddenly lost its superiority. And it depends a lot, a hell of a lot, on whereabouts the UK has got their fighters. But it'll take you 20 minutes to get back to that stage. Again, if you're an Iron Man, it's not a huge deal. You, you will get this if you do it a few times. Alright, there we have paratroopers. And now we need to build some. So, train you over. Let's train you there, that's fine. And we should be able to edit this down to two, because I want to make a few of these, and that should mean we can make twelve. Yep, twelve, that's perfect, we'll put them on high priority. Uh, now we can research something else, and what I will research is superior firepower, because I absolutely, <laughs> absolutely hate mobile warfare. Right, yeah, again, national focus, so it really doesn't matter at all. So. We're into June, nearly into July. And lots of points we're going to spend. So the first thing I want to grab, because I generally forget, is Kurt Student. If we can find him, there he is. Airborne Assault. Para drop attack plus 2%. It's not a huge buff, but anything that helps our paratroopers, I'll be honest with you, I want to grab it. Now, let's have a look. See, yeah, our numbers of fighters is going up nicely. Now what we do want to do is, just about now, keep her on the transport plane, because as soon as this one's built, we don't need any more. Eight is absolutely fine for our purposes. There we go. Right, so that's going to save us three factories, which means we can make even more fighters. Even two fighters a day now, which is nice. There we are, it's kicking off down in Spain. We're very nearly on our bomber limit, actually, so let's raise that slightly, because again... Oh, yeah... Hmm... I do want to get as many bombers out as feasibly possible. Yeah, I can take 600 of that airfield, so let's just raise that slightly. Let's raise that to 600. Ba, ba, ba. Civilian factories we have spare. Oh, yeah. Spare research slot is all going. Right, so yeah. Um, now let's go with... Let's go with some oil production. We are going to pick up an absolute load of factories once we knock out the UK anyway. So that's why I'm not particularly bothered about building too many military factories. And also bear in mind that <laughs> we've got a load of factories that are currently on... Uh, on aeroplane production, and as soon as we got the UK, we just don't need to make any more after that. Literally for the rest of the war, so... Two and a third a day. They are doing well now. They're flying. <laughs> Do you like it? They're flying. Okay. Right. Boom. Cheer all week. Okay. We have got some more political power to spend. What should we spend it on this time? Um, 
Well, I'm thinking about if she is. Let's go for infantry. There we go. Oh, what do we need? Rubber. No, we need one that's fine. Da -da. Now, one thing I will add is that yeah, like I was saying about these DLCs and all that sort of stuff, it always used to be where when you knocked out the UK, again, another random focus, you used to get given Australia and New Zealand and all that sort of stuff as well. It doesn't happen anymore, and that to me is a real shame. Because it used to be great. Knock out the UK, you've already conquered half the world with bases all over the place. Now, what will happen is Canada, Raj, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand will split off into their own separate version of the Allies with Canada as the, uh, as the commander. And it's a nuisance. But it doesn't affect Operation Sea Lion, which is what we're worried about today. Okay, we are mid-September, month and a half left. Now, if you're new to the game, even if you've been playing for a while, paratroopers are one of those things that a lot of people hate doing. A lot of people don't know how to do them. And I'll, I'll show you now... Uh, do you want that? Yeah, we want that. Um, I'll show you, sort of, during this, this run-through now about how to, use, how to use them. They're, once you get the hang of paratroopers, they're pretty easy. The only problem with them is the air superiority, which is an absolute nuisance. But... You can't do much about that, unfortunately. So... Now, Operation Sea Line is, is a useful achievement, very, very useful achievement, because pretty much once you've knocked out the UK and knocked out France, that's World War II over, so you can do whatever you like as Germany for the rest of the game and not really worry. And. Uh, you know, of course, as Germany, without worrying about fighting the UK and France and you aim for Soviet Union, you are going to be in a very, very good position. So if you can do what we're going to do here, which is uh, take out the UK pretty much straight away, it's going to give you up for a, a great German campaign. And Germany is, is not it's not my favourite country to play. It's, it's okay. You know, I mean, it, it's a very easy country to play because you start off so bloody strong. But... You know, when, when I'm playing single player on my own, I'll, most of the time I tend to pick somebody obscure. Like, you know, I've played as Hungary quite a lot in the past, I've, I've played as Portugal a lot recently. Alright, what do we want? Yeah, one of them. Mm -mm -mm. And I have to admit, if this video is popular, I might actually do some more videos about different countries. Because, like with, uh, with Portugal as a good example, there's a very, very easy way. For Portugal now, with the latest DLC, to get given Brazil within, <laughs> within about a year. And that gives you a lot of extra population, it gives you a lot of building space. It, it's, turned Brazil, it's turned Portugal into a very fun country to play. But, um, but yeah, it's like I say, th this is a, a very good German start. But, uh, right, we're a month away. Mm -hmm. Just know it's got some army experience, probably from, from some, one of the researchers. I'm actually going to edit the um, template now for the infantry. Uh, give them an extra, so this will be a combat width of 20, which is lovely. Our paratroopers are very nearly done. Feel free to deploy these guys early, um, you know, it depends a lot on your timing uh, in your particular game. We've got another couple of weeks, um, they might deploy, they might not. It's not really a huge problem if they don't. Right. In fact, do you know what? Let's actually organise ourselves. Let us organise. Right. You are going to be down here. Right, so let's get the transport planes across. So they're now done in Essen. Let's deploy these paratrooper guys. They have deployed over here. So, we'll put them in a separate army. They're going to be commanded by Kurt Student, the blue guy. Can't miss him. Why did I just choose him? Simple. He has got a lovely buff that comes with him. If I can find him again. <laughs> I can't. Uh, there he is. He's got a lovely buff. He's a commando. Out of supply, minus 25%. It basically means the paratroopers are going to be a lot happier when they're over there. So, how do we do paratroopers? We are going to... This might not work, we'll see, but if I click on the paratroop, paratroop order button 
This one glows white. Why is that? Because that's the air filters put those transport planes in. That's telling me there's transport planes there that can do a mission. So, left click there, we'll right click here. There's a paratroop order. That's a very valid order. It's telling me that 12 paratroopers will be going boom straight across into Dover. That's not what I want. Why not? Because I don't need that many paratroopers there. Paratroopers essentially are like little bombs, and you'll see that as, as this goes on. So we're going to be doing a second order. Paratroop order from there, down here. Now, if I was to click that, control click that, nothing happens. This is a glitch with the game, and it's been like it for a long time. We need to exit out, go back onto him, then click number two, then control click, lo and behold, it works. Right, so, we're going to be doing that a few times. Uh, from there to there. Uh, exit out. Okay. See, it's just a little tiny thing, but it's irritating. Three. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And four. Sorry, it's just take a little while there with me. Two there. That's out back in. That's five. Da -da. It's out, back in. That's six. <sighs> From there, we can try for London. Seven. From there to there. And that's number eight, nearly there. Parachute from there. To there. And that is number nine. This isn't actually set in stone, by the way, as long as you get some chunks of the southeast of England, you're absolutely fine. That's ten. Two more. From there to there. That's eleven. And one more from there to where should we go for? We can try for there. It is going to be number twelve. So we will, and we will actually tell them to carry on with their order two. So we will see them scuttling down there now. We have a week left before we start. Da -da -da -da. Twenty-ninth, thirtieth. Justification completed. Right. This is where we need a bit of luck on our side. As soon as we declare war on Holland, Britain's going to join in. We will either get air superiority and take out this massive chunk of England straight away, or we won't. So let's just give it a go. Right. Declare war. Now, if I just slow the game down a second now, you'll notice that straight away the next hour. They are on the phone, they've called the United Kingdom. Right, are they going to take off? We have air superiority at the moment. And no, we don't. Right. Let's deal with that in a second. Let's say this isn't vital right now. Oh, okay. One paratrooper took off and landed in Dover. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> you just hold Dover for me for about the next week and I'll be very, very happy. And another paratrooper got across. Oh, the paratroopers might actually be going. Three. Four. We've got Portsmouth. Well, they've got London defended, so unfortunately he's going to die. Okay, let's just see what happens. Looks like the paratroopers actually went, interestingly. Uh, no, we lost air superiority, which isn't a huge problem. Right. What I'm going to do, just really quickly, is I'm actually going to stick these guys here, the ones that made it across into a different army, and give them a proper front line. So give these guys a proper front line, give them something to defend. If they can defend that, I'll be over the moon. We'll even give them a nice little general as well. Right. Ooh, 
Let's have a look and see exactly what's going on there. There's no reason we can't grab that little bit of land there, actually. There is a lot of micromanagement involved in this. <laughs> right, it does look like Holland's about to go, which would be delightful. In fact, let's just have a quick look. Netherlands, 100% towards at midnight tonight. Boom, Holland's gone, which means... If we pause it... Yeah, okay, some more paratroopers just gone across now. Uh, this entire bulk army now can go. There's a front line. Get me the UK, thank you very much. <laughs> now, to do that, and make sure they're not sunk in between, what we haven't dabbled with is the Navy. So, you select all, cross onto you, merge them all together, give them cold dunits, and convoy escort into the channel. Just give our guys a bit of protection. And let's just go back here and see what's happening. Right. Not really a huge amount to do right now, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they come. Now, the only important thing is, uh, is, is that we get a port. Now, we got Dover, which is perfect. The only problem at the moment is they're involved in a bloody battle. Ah, oh, they're doing okay. Right. Come on, hit land. Relieve our paratroopers. Right now, I'm going to put these guys back in. No, not just yet. Let's, let's get the other guys in the front line first. Now, we are being pushed back up here, but again, we have got our main army across now. So, you can merge with him. You can go like that. You. We don't need paratroopers. Well, actually, that said, paratroopers have saved me in the past, but right this moment in time, I'm actually going to change them into infantry. And merge them all. Oh, I'm fine. Merge them all with him. So that gives us a lot of troops over here. Right. So, new attack order. From there, get me the UK. Thank you very much. We will do a bit of micromanagement. But this will be a good start. Right. Now, bring in mind, these guys here just, just changed from paratroopers. They're completely under-equipped, which is why they're being pushed back. It's not a massive problem right now. <laughs> now, this is the part where you just sit back with a beer <laughs> and just wait for the whole lot to unfold. Now, now because we don't need the paratroopers, what we can do is we've actually got a lovely airfield here with a 2,000 plane capacity. So I'm actually going to get the whole lot of our planes, all of our fighters and everything, straight across there. And I don't really care about their missions, let's just get everybody doing Southern England, because we will blow the RAF out of the sky from one of their own airfields. <laughs> right, you're recovering, okay. <laughs> now, we'll see how this goes for a little while. Let's say, if it looks like a stalemate, we'll get some paratroopers again and go behind their lines. Yeah, I have to admit, that's a lot easier than trying to do a naval invasion against the Royal Navy. Right. Looks like we're about to get Portsmouth, which would be very handy. Yep, we got Portsmouth, so that gives us loads of supply coming across now. It's actually very nice we got London so quickly. Right. We don't need to make so many fighters now. In fact, we don't need to make any fighters now, so let's bring the bring their factories right down to two. Everything else. We are going to start running out of guns pretty quick, so we'll actually get a load of guns going. A load of support. Yeah, about that would be absolutely fine. Right, just to keep them topped up. <laughs> right, let's have a little bit of land we'll be snagging down here.
Sorry, this is the boring part. You'll have to bear with me for this. <sighs> now, if we can get a bigger front line, this gets easier and easier because we'll be taking more and more of their factories. Ooh, look at that. Two big chunks. And, um... Well, I'm actually going to grab that little bit of land up there. Thank you very much. And this is what I was saying about micromanagement. Is you've got to keep checking for gaps. Because the, the AI will leave gaps. You've just got to make sure you exploit it. Because chances are your generals won't. Da -da -da. Now one thing I will add... Is, sorry, I'm, while we're talking, I'm still micromanaging at the moment. Um, one thing I will add is it's fairly common for the UK to actually naval invade back down here again somewhere. It's not a massive problem if they do, just instead of being zoomed in like this, always just keep one eye on the bottom side of the map down here. You've really got to. Right. Got some nice land up here as well. So we'll just split off these guys. Uh, this is okay. You can go up there. I'm just gonna watch here because I really want to just to if we can get rid of that little bit down there, then it'll make our lives a lot easier. In fact, what I'm going to do is just get these ones here, put them in a new army, give them somebody random. This just makes life a little bit easier for us. Right, so you guys can concentrate on that. Going around there. You six can concentrate on getting me, bug me, get me that little bit of land there. Right, go. Mm, 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 mm. Right, there's spare guys down here. How yeah, about well, you go and grab me Cornwall? Mm, 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 mm. Right, to be honest, the, the bigger the front line, the easier it will get for us. So. Uh, Gaps. Gotta keep your eye out for them. Yeah, there is. You might better run across and grab Sheffield really quickly. How's the uh, capitulation? 45%. Uh, They're getting on for halfway. It tends to be once you place at Liverpool up the top. That's that's when the fun comes. Okay, we have got that little bit, so they can get put back with their relevant commander. You'll notice the, uh, the capital now is up in Liverpool. So that's the place we ideally want to aim for. You are doing very well. Grab me Plymouth. Sometimes Plymouth is defended all the time, and it can be one of the hardest places to get, so I'm very happy if we can get Plymouth. Nice. Okay. Bristol gone. How are you doing? You've nearly finished Cornwall. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Cornwall gone. So we have pretty much the entire southern UK. And they're still pressing ahead nicely. Look at this, they got us leads.
but the beauty is, of course, we are absolutely wiping out their industry in the process, because most of their industry is in the Midlands around here. Yep, you can go for that and the other gaps. Don't do that, I want you up in that gap. Looks like we're about to get a hole. So it's these little gaps you'll watch out for. Yep, the hole is about to go. Pressing forward. Oh, can we nip around and grab Liverpool? If you wonder how I do that, by the way, let's right click there, shift and right click to that one, it'll be the next little order. It's one of those things, it took me ages to work out how to do that. I saw other people doing it, but yeah, shift and right click. Just keep my eye down here to make sure they haven't negatively invaded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We actually have Cardiff now as well. We'll look at this. 86%. Honestly, if we could get Liverpool, it would absolutely annihilate them. <laughs> like to be fair, we're not that far off of getting Liverpool right up the top of England now. <laughs> Right, tell you what, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get a little bit. <laughs> We're doing remarkably well. Still pressing right up towards Newcastle, do you look? <laughs> So this is exactly why we just didn't need those tanks. Is it's not the easiest battle. It's not a guarantee by any means, but let's be honest, it's not a difficult one. Uh, we are about to push them out of South Wales. Actually, we're doing pretty well against Liverpool now. Look. interest. How many factories have they got left? 29 to 37. Hmm. Right, we have just managed to corner all these people in deepest, darkest Wales. So I'm just going to reorganise people really quickly. Because I have you guys, you army, just get the rest of Wales for me. Da, 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 da. I always like doing the commander just in case. Right. Everybody else. Oh. Got Liverpool. You can come up there. Da, 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 da. So if we can get Liverpool, it's pretty much game over then. Looks like it looks like we might be about to get Liverpool, which will be just perfect. Because that is worth a lot of points. 99. Boom, we got Liverpool. How's that looking now? 100%. Boom. And there we go. Operation Sea Lion. So, I am just going to do the peace conference really quickly. Uh, let's. What do we actually want to do? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you, really. I mean, yeah, in terms of Operation Sea Line, the actual I, I forget the the actual terminology of it is um, is control the British mainland. So I think, but the problem is with that, 
going to lose the Navy. Do you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that, 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 missed it, that, 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 and that for myself. And then, let me see if it'll let me puppet the UK. Yes, it will, because the beauty about that is we'll actually keep the Royal Navy, just giving them that little bit of land. So we'll satellite the British Malaya, satellite the British Raj. Oh, we can't, we haven't got enough points. Let's just pass a few hundred dimes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Satellite British Raj, satellite Malaysia, satellite the Dusty Dutch East Indies, we'll puppet Holland, you could take it if you wanted to, satellite where these places are, in turn. Done. And boom! That's how you control the British mainland as Germany. Now, I'm actually going to keep this as a save game. I might do a part two of this where we uh, we take this a bit further on, you know, maybe invade France, Belgium, places like that. But yeah, so Operation Sea Line, that's how you do it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.